IHGN Studios, it's Braves Beat. Hello Braves, and welcome to this week's episode of Braves Beat. I'm Gino Cardosi. And I'm Reese Tuttle. So Gino, it's our third time at the desk. How are you feeling? To tell you the truth, I am starting to get kind of tired of you. Well, at least the feeling's mutual. Touche. Hmm. Touche. Well, there's a lot of news to cover this week, so let's get right to it. Cabaret is tomorrow night at the IHHS Auditorium. The show starts at 7.30 or come early at 6.45 if you want some delicious appetizers. Tickets are $10 for the show or $15 for the show and appetizers. And $37.50 for special VIP tickets. Hope to see you all there. Monday, we have practice for the pre-SAT for grades 9 to 11, who get an early release day just for taking the test. Aren't we lucky? The lovely, charming Dr. Garrett McClung and Marina Anderson have a funky, fresh sports report for us. Let's check it out. Thanks, Gina and Reese. I'm Garrett McClung. And I'm Marina Anderson. The girls' field hockey had many achievements, making first team S-W-O-F-H is... Marina Anderson and Jazzy Faber. Why are you talking about yourself in third person? <laughs> it was just on the script, so I had to read it. Anyways, coming in hot on the second team is Maddie Ryring, Nina Foad, and Madden Phillips. Honorable mentions include Sarah Vanaski and Bertel Carroll. Fantastic job, Braves. Annie Isfriding and Mia Fiore were both nominated for our All Southwest Ohio. On top of that, Annie Isfriding also got Division II Player of the Year for Soccer. Way to go, Lady Braves. Right on. Speaking of the Isfridings, Charlie Isfriding got second team CHL for All Ohio in Boys Soccer. Boys football players Antoine Peak, Garrett McClung, Will Adair, Robbie Gutman, and Joseph David were recognized for, the, for receiving Division IV All Southwest District Awards. The boys soccer Braves couldn't have done it without their coaches. Brian Daniels got Southwest Division II and Ohio's Coach of the Year. Let's not forget Michael Fry getting Southwest Division II Assistant Coach of the Year. Incredible job, coaches. Well, that's all we have for this week's sports report. Back to you at the news desk. Ain't he something? This Sunday, the 21st, our seniors are escaping to Chicago, the City of Lights, for their annual senior trip. They'll get to watch Dune, go, on an, go to an aquarium muse museum, and the Sears Tower. Really makes me excited to become a senior. Have fun, Braves! Reminder, seniors must show up to the school Sunday morning before 7.30. This Tuesday, we have another shortened day with a seven-bell schedule. The seniors are also coming back on Tuesday, but in the evening, so we sadly will not see them until after break. Speaking of which, Thanksgiving break starts Wednesday, so make sure to get your fill and be thankful. Gobble, gobble. We have a new segment right now titled Blind Baking. Let's find out what that means. Welcome to episode one of Blind Baking. Let's go. Blindfolds, blindfolds on. Three, two, right. one, go, right, go, go, go. We need one cup of water. water. Go, go this way, this way, this way. Give me the cup. This way, this way, this way. Come on, guys. Where's my block? Stop, 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 stop. Yep, yep. Stop, stop, stop. All right, all right, all right. Stop, stop, stop. All right, you're good, you're good, stop. Hold in, hold in. Marina, there isn't any vegetable oil. That sucks, right? They're already past the vegetable oil. We need a mixer. Yes, okay. Grab, no. You want mixer, keep on mixing. No. Walks the lava. Can you hear me? No, nope, grab the bowl. Pick up the bowl. Let's go. No, put your hands. Okay. Is it locked in? No, 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 no. Fingers. Watch the fingers, bro. You guys. This one looks a little bit like you did that. Guys, we both forgot the, the thing. We no! They're going to stick. I don't know. I thought it went really well. I heard Matthew yelling at Marina like quite a few steps ahead of us, but that meant they were rushing. And I was really taking my time getting a really good batter going. When they mixed theirs, mm -hmm. they didn't mix it all the way. No, I think it really shows um, adversity, how I can overcome it when yeah, I was mixing with technique. my hands. As you can tell, I really put a lot of work into it. It really shows how great of a cook I am. Honestly, I think the proof is in the pudding that I don't have <laughs> anything to Also, they got all the vegetable oil and we had to put avocado oil in So ours. we have a couple mixes of okay. oils, so whatever, it's fine. <laughs> and you know what about the vegetable oil? I'm sorry, we worked at a faster speed. There's Skip really better. not much else to say. I mean... I think we'll win. How do you feel about your cake? Honestly, I'm really happy considering their cake is really here, messed here, up here, right here. now. Okay, so this is their cake. Are you kidding? Hello, Braves. Here we are taste testing the cakes with special guests Zach Stacy and Gabby Manjano. Griffin, I think that's a great piece right there, bud. Okay, so I, I want to be sure. <laughs> I want to pleasantly surprise. This cake? 
really caught me by surprise. Uh, Gabby, I'm gonna have to disagree. It's warm. You're disagreeing. It's gooey. You're disagreeing. And it hits all the wrong sensory. <laughs> You're things. disagreeing. Next on is the best cake. Let's wow. try this cake. It's raw, babe. I redact my previous statement. <laughs> oh. It tastes terrible. <laughs> That's a bad cake. This feels like a mistake. Uh, we I won. Think we're pleased. Uh, we won. One of the worst we won. Yeah. Get out of here. It was a good cake. We're gonna take the L. Um, there's not many words. When she used her mittens <laughs> in order to do to mix that cake. In order to that do, really put a temperament on my mind. In order to do a Proper experiment, you have to have controlled variables and the variables. Work no variables were controlled whatsoever. Zero. Zilch. This is what we know in the biz as sore losers. Thank you for watching, Braves. We hope you tune in next time to our next episode of Line Bacon. No boss. Camera off. If you like that, make sure to tell us through email or just yell it at us in the hallway. Indian Hill High School congratulates sophomore student musician George Zaring for his selection in the University of Cincinnati UC College Conservatory of Music CCM Cincinnati Youth Jazz Orchestra as a drummer. Zaring is one of 15 musicians selected from across the region to participate in the 10-week program. The Brace Beat Student Spotlight Center will have a sign-up and recommendation form on Canvas this week. Be sure to check it out if you or a peer would like to be featured. So Gino, are you still feeling tired of me? Do you want me to tell you the truth, no, no, or... No, just stop right there. Yeah, that's what I thought. Be sure to follow us on Twitter, subscribe to us on YouTube, and email us with any school updates. And remember, stay classy, stay classy Indian, Indian Hill. Hill. Hello, Braves. I'm Alex Rosakis. I'm Aiden Walton, and you're not watching Disney Channel. And we're here today bringing you a brand new Braves Beat package where we, where we watch and review all Braves Beat episodes. And today, we're going to watch the first ever episode of Braves Beat uploaded on YouTube, on um, September 2nd, 2011. Let's get into it. We're very excited to kick off the new school year with a new and improved Braves beat. Not to be that guy, but I do have to say, I do think having name graphics for the anchors does do a nice job tying everything together. I don't know these people. I don't know their names now. I won't be able to re react or relate to anything they say because I don't know them as a deeper person. I don't know what their names are. And therefore, I think the name graphics are really important. And without it, it just makes the experience kind of confusing. The football team started off with an exciting Friday. I'm going to say Friday. that graphic, very nice. I do like how crisp it looks with the white border. Very nice, very nice. Cross Country ran their way to victory at their Invitational with Elizabeth Heinbach taking first, Elena Horton in second, and Adrian Horton in Okay, but what's your name? Our new principal, Dr. Shelton. Here's Jackie. I'm not convinced his name is Dr. Shelton because there's no name graphic. It's, it's honestly just proves that this could be a big conspiracy. And as always, stay classy, Indian Hill. I, like to I do have to say, it's a bit weird without the mug clinking. I've got, I'm used I, to I, that. Yeah, I, I, feel like, I feel like a fraction of me fell off without the mug. We have names. We have names. We have names! We have names.